Preview The giant ripping sound you may have heard Wednesday afternoon was hundreds of pages of monologue jokes being torn up. Just hours before late-night talk hosts were scheduled to tape their shows, President Trump held an unplanned, combative, one-of-a-kind press conference at Trump Tower, embracing his much derided Saturday speech and placing blame on both sides white supremacists neo-Nazis and their opponents for the weekend violence stemming from a Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. In political circles, jaws dropped. At late-night shows, writers typed. Jimmy Kimmel said he screamed at my TV I'm not joking when I say I would feel more comfortable if Cersei Lannister was running the country at this point, said Kimmel. Photo ABC Kimmel crystallized the comic craziness at the opening of ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live. I haven't screamed at my TV this much since McDreamy died, he said, calling the speech an angry and passionate defense of white supremacists. He continued I'm not joking when I say I would feel more comfortable if Cersei Lannister was running the country at this point. Then, the host addressed his Trump-supporting viewers directly. First of all, I want to say I get it. I really do. You were unhappy with the way things were going. You wanted someone to come in and shake things up. You didnt want business as usual, he said. You can dig in like Chris Christie at a hometown buffet, or you can treat the situation like you would if you put Star Wars wallpaper up in the kitchen. All right, I got caught up. I was excited. I made a mistake, and now it needs to go. Seth Meyers called the press conference clinically insane as Seth Meyers, of NBC's Late Night, offered a breaking crazy news report on the Trump Tower event. Warning this contains some NSFW language. The latest Gallup poll found that President Trump's approval rating with Republicans has dropped three points in the last week, he said. But he's still holding steady with angry mobs, 1835. Stephen Colbert said the press conference took place in the seventh circle of hell. Stephen Colbert had a spanking new monologue, replete with press conference commentary, ready for his audience at CBS as the late show. Even though many criticized how long it took, the president knew the right thing was to make a statement on Monday, be clear on who was to blame, and then move on to the people's business. I'm just kidding, he said. He held a press conference today and, I believe, the seventh circle of hell. The only thing I'm doubting right now is whether you're going to be president on Friday, he continued. Because what the hell are you talking about? Conan O'Brien joked about good racist Steve Bannon like Colbert. Conan also came ready with jokes about Trump resigning. In an impromptu press conference just a few hours ago, President Trump said, the hate and the division must stop for a minute. The crowd got excited because they thought Trump was resigning. O'Brien also had words for the president's embattled advisor Steve Bannon. Yes it was a very odd press conference, he said. In the press conference, President Trump said that Steve Bannon was a good friend and not a racist. Then he said, oops, I meant to say, a good racist, and not a friend. USA Today